yeah, this is the Merkin residence, 6565 Semset. I believe this place used to be an all-night rave, and I think these kids here are still raving. So get a car over here as quickly as you can. I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right, girl, trash. Your turn. So, you 
are new to this town and you think you're a man? I heard you once dressed up as Goofy at Disneyland. Now you expect to become a movie star? Oh, for five sides you get the feathers and some tar. You call yourself an actor, but have you ever set foot in a stage? Oh. Even community theater? Something out of backstage? Do you have a model? <laughs> ever done a soliloquy? Better yet, do you even know what they be? And you expect to get hired alongside the tried and the tested. In my theater, poor lad, you couldn't get arrested. Tell me, my shining prince, how do you miss your cue on television when you only have one line? You think these people out here have the time? I think I will predict your future. Turn around, get on your back, off with your clothes, bend over and pick somebody called Skinner Max. Because your talent, or lack thereof, is the lamest of the lame. And I believe you know this, so. Do us all a favor quite tremendous and take your rear back to Kansas. Oh, oh. oh that was brilliant. Oh, excuse me. I'm a little emo right now. A little emo. Oh, my good peeps. I, bet, I believe, I believe we do have a winner. And his name is Billy Shakespeare. Yeah. a little something. Uh, what do you young chaps call it? Freestyle? <laughs> my name is Billy. They call me Slick Billy because I rhyme. I time. I'll take your ass back to a classical time. Comedies, histories, tragedies, romance. Read my plays, you'll get wet in your pants. Richard, Henry, Julius, the Tempest. I can't even say which is the bestest. Lyrically, I'm dropping bombs, but I remain calm. So let's get this party started here, in my rear. Come on, everybody, shake your spear. Well, uh, they're ringing the bell, so I guess I gotta go now, but stay up and keep it real, because if the shit ends well, then we know it's all well. Where did everybody go? Takes you to the 
People Safari with your hosts, Jake and Jill. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. And welcome to People Safari. I'm your host, Jake Willington the Third. And I'm Jill Willington. <laughs> Join us as we scan the world looking for people in their natural habitat. I love this part. It's just so real. Isn't it, though? <laughs> Oh, join us today as we go to America! Oh, yes! We are going to visit the Johnson family! Yes, now um, we'll have to be on our toes because, whoa. you see, these Americans can be very tricky! Oh, sweet, not yet. What? Oh, how can you know how I love to dance? Yes, she loves to dance. I love to dance, too. We will now go through a window that we broke open illegally. Thank you, dear. We are in the room of little Susie Johnson. Yes. Little Susie's only eight years old, so don't frighten her. You remember what happened last time. Now, that was an accidental death, but I was cleared of all charges, dear. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Susie? Little Susie Johnson? Oh, let me give it to the world, dear. It's hibernating. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, wait, come here. Oh, oh my goodness. I love it when you dance with me. Oh. She's awoken from her slumber. Slumber party? Ha! Ah. Slumber party? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's slumber parties. Those are very, very odd little things that homo sapiens in America do. They sleep over at people's houses that are not their own in pajamas. Do you believe that? Hi, I'm Susie. Welcome to my room. Hello, Susie! I'm... I'm Jake. And I'm Jill, dear. It's nice to meet hello. you. Hello! Hello! Yes. Well, and I love to dance, and sometimes my mom comes in my room and she makes me turn on the music, but I love to have the music on. And tomorrow I'm going to the amusement park, and did you want to come? Oh, did you meet Mr. Fred, my dog? Mr. Fred. Mr. Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred. Mr. Fred. She's alone. She is alone. See, Mr. Fred, I told you I had friends. Do you want to go for a walk? Come on. Bye. Well, let's hope it's not hereditary because we will now enter the mother and father's master bedroom. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a piercing. Yeah. Oh, mating. Yeah. They're mating? Oh. This is incredible. Oh, A yeah. first hand look at the mating yeah. habits of the American Johnson. I love oh, the sound of mating Americans. Shall we dance? We shall. Oh. You want to grab a beer, honey? Uh, well, the game's on a little bit. Oh, it appears that the male American Johnson has left. What's the up? female is likely unsatisfied. <laughs> yes, she doesn't look very happy at all, does she, dear? No, she doesn't. Do you know what we can do about that? No, um, are you okay? Did you reach any sort of orgasm? Orgasm? Oh. I haven't reached an orgasm since college. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that at all. I think I can do something about that. I think I know what you're thinking, dear. I am. I'm a cross bleeding. Who, who are you? Oh, hello. I'm Jake. I'm Jim. Yes. Well, I'm Rhonda. Rhonda, lovely. Let me just take you back here. Join us next week as we go to American Pamela oh. Johnson's. Until then, ta ta.
What are you doing? We're supposed to be getting married! That's my freaking log! Asshole! <laughs> Good job. 
job, guys. Great job. I'm really seeing some results. Okay? Just hand me your checks on the way out. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Great. There you Thank go. you. Oh, yeah. It's the best workout. You're looking great. Thanks, You're awesome. looking it's really awesome. great. Excellent. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. I, I can see Thanks, it. Thanks, Jordan. Oh, you look fabulous. <laughs> hey, Joseph. Oh, my God. The office is so damn clean. Maybe then, huh? You, I love it. Look how clean it is. It's amazing. Gracias, senor. Um, por favor, my check. Oh, your check, check. Hey, No, nope. you, you doing it, Yeah. A little something extra in there for you. Thank you. Buenos noches, okay. huh? Okay. Love okay. you. Look how clean it is. Gracias. Okay. Fine stuff. Amazing. Gracias. Okay. God, this job is so easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir, and trust me, this isn't easy for a guy like me. But when I walked in here and I spotted you, I thought you were royalty. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just looking at this guy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You're playing it low, trying to keep a secret. I understand your secret is safe with me. And if I may say so, sir, this uh, car you're looking at is way, way beneath you, if I may say so, Your Excellency. You think so? Oh, uh, no, I, I can't buy this car because... Oh, come on, you're playing it off. Huh? You're playing it off so you don't get swamped with pushy salesmen. Hey, 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 look, look, look. You're lucky I found you. Had it been Hank, look out. Well, actually, I, I am trying to buy a new car. Oh, no, 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 not a car. No, 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 it's more than that. Come on, men like us know this to be true. Huh? Huh? It's a, it's a, it's a statement. Huh? A constant reminder to all the people who and what you are. Huh? Huh? Like a flag. Honoring a country with its color and design, a motorized chariot that represents <laughs> you. Incredible. You're good. No, I'm Snake. Welcome to Car <laughs> Dreams. And what should I call you, Your Excellence? Uh, I'm not. My name is Charlie Charlie Charles. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, it is nice to meet you, King Charles, and let me introduce <laughs> you to this beautiful piece of machinery right over here. Huh? Take her in, Charlie. Huh? Feel her power. Hey, 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 think of what Christine did for that Yahoo in that Carpenter film, huh? So get up, Chuck. Let her transform you. Okay, okay. Snake, Snake, just one second. Um, I really, really hate the name Chuck. Okay, just call me Charlie. Charlie, you know. All right, Chuck. all right, Chucky, Chucky. <laughs> this is the car for you, you know? I knew it the first moment I saw you. This is the moment where all your troubles fade away, huh? huh? This is the moment where your life goes to another level. <laughs> How are you, Chuck? Hey, hey, okay, stay. Hold on, hold on. Charlie. Not Chuck. Charlie. I really, really hate the name Chuck, okay? Charlie, all right? This baby will transform you, Chuck. I'm telling you, Chucky boy. I have seen it time and time again. You want to know why? I do not sell cars. No, I sell dreams. Life fulfilled for pennies on the dollar. The first domino is right here, Chucky boy. Hey, hey, I'm Chuck. I mean, Charlie. My name is Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Simple Charlie. Charlie. Hey, Can't you hear Charlie? Hey, hey, don't fight it, Chuck. Do not do that to yourself. That? You're crazy. You're nuts. I'm hit it. Charlie! Charlie! You suck! Charlie! <laughs> That's the way, Chuck! You're on the path! Yeah, I'll save the car for you, pal! Snake, I fired you like last week. Get the fuck out of here. Don't make me fire you again, alright? Good to see you, boss. Just sold another one. <laughs> yeah. I'm Got you later. I'm gonna borrow a vet for me. Yeah. You don't work for me. Hey, <laughs> not the vet. Coming this fall to UPN, it's the Tanya Show, the story of everyone's American sweetheart, Tanya.
shrimp fried rice, please? Oh, well, thank you very much, sir. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Miss Johnson. The roses look beautiful. <laughs> Come in. Hey, Tanya. Hi, Pear. How are you? Oh, you will never guess. What? Steve finally asked me out. No way. You've liked him for a while. Yes, I'm so excited. And I need to look my best. And I really want to borrow your black dress. You know that one with the bow back? Oh, yeah. please, 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 please. Go ahead. It's in my room. Oh, thank you. You are the best. <laughs> Hi, roommate. Hi, Sherry. Look it. Happy birthday. Yay. Of course, I remembered you're my very favorite roommate in the whole entire world. Holiday time. Holiday, everybody. Come on. Take five. Take five. Tanya, Tweety, baby. Come here. Yeah. Come here. You, you're great. We love you. That's why we got you from the WB. Cause you're, you're gonna be a star, okay. big, big, ooh, you're gonna be big. But listen, you see, this show is, see, UPN is a little more urban. You know what I'm saying? A little less friends, a little more bony. Shut Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay. No. So wait, darling, baby, oh, you're gonna be big. You are big and a star. Call me too, we're family, right? Oh, okay. Okay, ooh, ooh. Okay, so same thing, same line, just a little, you know, urban. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, positions one. Whenever you're ready, Buttercup. Oh, she's so good, she's so good. <laughs> This fall, UPN is proud to present One Big Bad Mama. It's the story of Tanya, urban chick on the streets. Well, do y'all deliver? <laughs> what? Yeah, fuck you then! <laughs> Miss Jackson, you need to get your old wrinkle ass off my car! <laughs> Move it, bitch! <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, Tanya, can I borrow a dollar? Hell no, bitch! <laughs>
what you are about to witness is real. <laughs> the litigants are not actors. They are the men and women who have agreed to settle their disputes here in our courtroom. <laughs> Judge Judy, with today's special, very, very special celebrity guest judge, the wonderful, beautiful Miss Carol Channing. Hey, hello everybody. Oh my, I remember you. We sat next to each other at the Joe and Worthy Film Festival. Wasn't that fun? Oh, hello everybody. Hello. Hello, Mr. Plaintiff. Hello, Mr. Finn. And I know you've been sworn and I have read your complaints, but before we begin, I'd like to wish my faithful baby, Mr. Krusty Burrell, a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, how does that feel? Old. Uh, how old are you today, dear? I'm 78 years old. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be so young again. Well, let's get started, <laughs> shall we? Mr. Peter Bumstead, oh my, you are a big one. You are suing uh, Miss Viola Farrell. Oh, what a musical name. Hello, Viola. Well, hello, Viola. Before I turn 70. Oh, of course, Christy. Well, you're suing Miss Farrell for $150 for not returning an engagement ring. An engagement ring? Is it diamonds? A kiss on the hand might be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, silly. No, Your Honor, it is cubic zirconia. Ooh. Mr. Bumstead, cubic zirconias are not a girl's best friend. What were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking I could barely afford that Cracker Jack box that came in, Your Honor. Oh, that is because he does not have a J-O-B, Your Honor. A J-O-B? I, I don't that's, know what... That's Jaws, though. Oh, you <laughs> youngsters today and your crazy vocabulary. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna hire next comic, Your Honor. That's not fair. Oh, not fair. Oh, don't get me started on what's not fair. Why, I remember when I did 5,000 performances descending that red staircase on Broadway with an entire cast hello dolling it a death, and then when the picture version comes out, who do they cast? That gigantic nose with a little woman attached to it. Oh, Barbara Streisand may be the most beautiful, magical force in a generation, but a barrel of laughs she ain't. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being very sassy now. Well, let's get back to the case at hand. Uh, Miss Farrell, why won't you return this poor excuse of a ring to Mr. Bumstead? Well, he broke off the engagement, so why should get to keep it? It's only fair. Oh, don't get me started on what's fair again. Why, every time I think of how they cast that Barbara, I will tell you one thing. I did my little happy dance when that movie bombed. <laughs> I mean, what were they thinking? Well, Miss Farrell, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you'll have to give back the ring and put a period on it. That's what Judge Judy would say, you know. Oh, my stars, that Judge Judy is just wonderful. Isn't she wonderful, Mr. Burrell? Uh, oh, Krusty. Oh, Krusty, my eyelash is falling. Would, would you get that for me here? Oh, Danny Kay, you found my G-spot. Case closed. <laughs> Everybody just go out and have a wonderful day. Oh, it's just me and you, Mr. Table. Carol will never leave your side I was just wondering 
his own box. All you gotta do is go to Home Depot. They got plenty of boxes. She's right. He ain't even got a car. Yeah, yeah, bitch. I, I got my own car. You ain't got no damn car. You can't even beg for money, bro. Shit. <laughs> I got your sign. Oh, you got my. I've been looking for that sign. You goddamn it, man. I've been you looking for that sign, you bitch. Yeah, I had this great sign, man. It was like it was like a red and big square sign. Where is it? Great. I think we all understand where you're coming from. Excellent. What you know about where I come from? Yeah. You been talking to Pookie? I swear, I will hurt you. Oh, no, I, I just. I, got I, a I, I, I just met. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> why don't Why don't we meet your date, Tammy? Please welcome Dr. Mark Weiss. Dr. Mark <laughs> loves a, a woman who's in shape and isn't shallow. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mark Weiss. <laughs> Doc, glad you're here, man. I got this itch right here. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, try to keep your pants on, Bob. <laughs> no wonder if she'd rather go out with me. Yeah, Bobby. So, uh, tell us about your day, Tammy. Oh, the doctor was nice. He, he came to my box with a car with wheels and everything. And, and when he got to my box, you know, he knocked instead of just picking it up. Yeah, well, if you put a trash can on top of your box, I wouldn't have to, you know, I wouldn't be able to lift it up. Well, nobody wants to smell like a damn trash can, Bobby. Oh, she said I smell like a trash can. So, Dr. Dr. Mark was a gentleman. Uh, 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 yeah. Dr. Mark yeah, was a gentleman? he was nice. You know, he brought me flowers to deodorize myself and to cover up that piss smell in my box. That was real nice. Oh, he smelled good. What was that smell? Uh, soap. <laughs> yeah, you hear that, Bobby? You hear that? He got soap. <laughs> oh, yeah, that crap, so what? Oh, that's a little more information than we needed today. <laughs> Woo, all right, uh, Dr. Mark, what were your impressions of Tammy? Well, I, I, I liked to, uh, I, I thought she had a nice body and she was nice and thin. And yeah, it's the crack. Hey, hey, I told you I don't do no damn crack. Crack is what? <laughs> <laughs> so, I hear you went to a nice restaurant. Tell us about that. It was, it was very nice and I, I couldn't imagine anyone else eating as much as she did. She ordered like three entrees. It was amazing how she gets a, a nice firm figure out. Not, not it's sure. the crack! Hey, who said crack? Yeah, I did! You got some crack? Yeah! So, so! <laughs> wow, you have a healthy appetite, eh, Tammy? Huh? Well, yeah, because you don't take me nowhere. I mean, I'm lucky if I get a half-eaten piece of chicken from Popeye. Hey, well, shit, yeah. bitch ain't complaining when she's eating it. Oh, I'm complaining. You just can't hear me. Hey, 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 shut up! Shut up! up. Shut up. up. Shut up. up. You're giving me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't we meet your date, Bob? Please welcome Ashley Peterman. Ashley is a legal secretary for the office of Grace Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Peterman. Oh, come on, give me some sugar, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be touching her in front of me. Don't disrespect me like that. Bitch, you trying to steal my man? No, I'm not. You can have it. <laughs> so, Ashley, tell us about your date. There was no date. He showed up at my door, he wanted to shower with me, and I slammed the door in his face. Whoa, Bobby, that had to hurt. No, 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 I like you when they play hard to get. I wasn't playing hard to get! Oh, uh, yeah? Is that why you were doing that striptease in your bedroom for I, me? I was not doing a striptease! Oh, yeah, like you didn't know I was right outside that bedroom window. Like you didn't know. You are so gross. Hey, hey, you said you weren't gonna stop nobody but me. You promised me you won't go... You promised me you won't go stop nobody but me! Yeah! Well, I did! All right, all right. I guess our final question of the day is, are you gonna have a change of heart? Tammy, let's start with you, darling. Okay, well, you know, the doctor, he was nice, and he could probably treat this fungus for free, you know? <laughs> and Bob's an idiot, and he smells like piss, but you know what? I love him. I'm, I'm gonna keep my man in my fungus. Oh, that's precious. That's precious. All right. You know what Tammy's thinking, so, Bob, what about you? Yeah, well, I think Tammy's great. You know, she's really cute, and she doesn't get mad when I poop with her box. You know, she just gets mad. But, uh, Ashley, Ashley's really classy, and I think I love her, and I think I'm gonna have a change of heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, that's all the time we have this week for a homeless change of heart. Stay tuned next week, same time, same channel.
stud. What are you doing? Are you ready to party? Yeah, my friends are going to come later on. Go get them. Hey, this is the superhero club. Remember where all the superheroes hang out? Yes. Listen, I took like three buses, two taxis, I stole a bike, and I had to hitchhike just to get here. I'm really thirsty. Can I just get a glass of water? <laughs> this club is for real superheroes only. But it's okay, because I'm on the list, yeah. Yeah, my friend Jimmy D, oh, you probably know him. He comes here all the time. Never heard of him. Oh, come on, you know Jimmy D, because he's here. He's like this with Spider-Man, their best buddies. They went to high school together. Yeah, well, so check the list. I'm on. My name's Billy Kaperkowitz. Check the list. Check the list. All right. I'll check the list. Yes. No, you're not on the list. What do you mean? I'm going to kill that guy. Hey. I'll see you, woman. What? What are you doing? Hey, there, big boy. You're not wearing those pants. Those pants are wearing you. Oh, this is my own. Um, she's not on the guest list, and she's not a superhero. But I was wondering if you could let her in the club, just for me. Oh, sure thing, baby girl. You know I have your back. Oh, thanks, baby. Are you going to call me though, right? Oh, of course. Do you have my number? Pussy we'll blows. <laughs>
be in basketball practice right now, young lady? Yeah, I'm running late. Oh, you're always running late, Sarah. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride? <laughs> well, sweetie, I think Dad's a little tired. Look, he made himself some dip oh, yeah. All right, I'll walk. <laughs> hey, Dad, I have been practicing. I'm almost as good as you. Huh? Look at this. I can that. Huh? Hey, think fast. <laughs> hey, Dad. Billy Finley asked me on a date, and I don't know if I'm ready today. I mean, I'm only 16. You're right, Dad. I have my whole life ahead of me to date boys. No need to rush into it now. Dad, you're so smart. I love you. Sarah, <laughs> should you be on your way now, young lady? Yeah. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, you're just making quite a mess there, aren't you, sweetheart? Huh? Oh. oh, okay. It's just been such a fool. <laughs> oh, oh, Kevin. Hi, Mom. I didn't know you were home, sweetheart. I was upstairs reading. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Dad, you want to play video games? Cool. There you go. <laughs> Damn it, Dad, you won again. Always win. Uh, before I go, Dad, I have something serious I want to tell you. Um, See, Timmy says that I shouldn't be friends with Nuno anymore because he's different. I don't know what to do. What do you say? You're right, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, 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 go to hell, buddy! Hey, hey. You overpaid Jack 
jackasses get back to work, I'm gonna figure out a way to lay you off before the end of the day. Oh, oh, yeah. Fuck off, buddy, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, sorry to be demeaned in front of you all. I tried to cram as many ideas as I could in this brief because I'm really too weak and too stupid to make a decision. Right. I'm also fearful that John will bring out his conclusive proof that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 let me ask a question to give the illusion I actually give a shit. <laughs> hey, 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 Kathy, how many people have you slept with and who the hell haven't you slept with to climb up that corporate ladder, baby? Well, actually, everyone except Billy. Ooh, Billy. Well, I'm going to put it at four. That's good. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> now, what we're trying to communicate here is mere parody performance. Right. Uh, excuse me, what does that mean? <laughs> Don't you know? Yeah, no, uh, I don't. Well, neither one of us. <laughs> Continue, Bob. Now, this is a term that is used to blatantly mislead consumers because we're really too uh, cheap to improve our, improve our products for Right. Oh, so my role here is clearly undefined and unnecessary. Yeah. And I spend my time trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh no, you're no quota. You're the whore. I'll see you in my office around four, okay? Actually, I, I have four with her, so. Yeah. Oh, five then. Four with her. Hey, awkward. Hey, 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 hey. I'm in an awkward, uncomfortable drink with a client, anyone? I would love to, but I have to go snort cocaine off a stripper's tits. Oh, lucky, lucky. I'm going to be burned alive. That would work for me. Well, uh, I'll go for the awkward, uncomfortable drink, because it couldn't there be more go. awkward as this. I mean, uh, you're a cocksucker, and you're the company slut, and uh, you're a weak little pussy, and you are a white ass bitch! I can't believe she just said that! I, I don't I, like her. We brought you on board for better things than this. Better things than this. I cannot believe this. Get out right now! Yeah, start packing, Get out before the door hits you in your ass on your way start out. Start packing! I'm fucking believing. Hey, everybody! Hey, John. What happened to the new girl? Uh, not our material. bitch. Are you kidding me? I thought she'd be great. Well, case of Ross, oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da. <laughs> hey, guys, the IRS is downstairs. I'm going to burn some files. Who wants to join me? Oh, excellent! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Bonsoir. Ah, welcome. Welcome to How to Make Love to a Beautiful Woman with Francois the Frenchman. I am the Francois. <laughs> you must be the Artie Milken. Yeah, I'm Artie Milken. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, I am going to change your life, Artie Milkins, for the low, 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 low price of $69.69. So just let me know when you are ready, Artie. Oh, oh. Um, uh, uh, do you really think you can help me? Artie. Yeah. Hey, Francois. Yeah. Cannot help you. No one can, and you will get half your money back because it will be your half that failed. But, but, no worries. I can already tell you're a man who's going to bring the ladies to places they never dreamed. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okay, we get a little nervous. Ah, uh, an emotion I am not familiar with. Ah, well, really? uh, but one I will exercise from your being. Oh. So, come. Come, okay. next to me, and follow my every move. Now, allow yourself to be free, and let your entire being come forth. Okay. I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, you are ready, Artie. Now, the first thing we do is spread our legs. Okay, we deep down, deep down, Artie. Okay, keep the head up, okay? Look the woman in the eyes, and you say, I do not know what to say in the presence of such beauty. I, d I don't know what to say. In the oh, oh, my legs are hurting. Okay, Artie, 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 how bad do you want this? How much do you want to feel the inner power of a woman's soul? I want to feel it. Now, what you need to do is watch the fabulous Francois okay. and learn. Soak up the power. I will. <laughs> Oh my darling, you are the light, you are the creator, I must be near you, I must get closer and closer, I must touch the essence of what life is all about, you deserve to be caressed and stroked and brought to places you only dream. I don't know this is for me, actually. Oh no, no. I knew it! The first moment I saw you, I must have you. Your scent, you your graciousness, your overpowering energy. Oh! Oh! First! Well, uh, okay. <coughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm gonna leave now, because I don't really- Oh, but oh! I don't have you! I must be near you. I am weakened by your being. I don't want to. Oh, I melt at your sight. I really... I think I love you. Me? No. No. I know I love you. No. Oh, I love you. I'm in the closet. <laughs> Why is it in the closet? 95 Keep the change. No, but I want to come out of the closet. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Material. <laughs> you know, honey, 
half the women at work want out. Fuck me. <laughs> half of them. All of them. And the men too. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, do you think I have a, you know, a large one? <laughs> large? It's humongous. <laughs> Honey, do I give it to you good? Oh, yes. Honey, do you get orgasms from me? Oh, I get three just by looking at you. <laughs> I'm the man. Yes, I am. I'm the man. Yes, I am. That's I'm right. I'm the man. Yes, I am. 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 <laughs> so, um, what did you cook me for dinner? What the hell did you say? Are you talking to me? I'm putting my dinner on the table in 20 minutes. Do you hear me? Honey, would, one, would, yes, would you say that I'm, um... Uh, Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 <laughs>